YouTubers, it's Rad Fox here, and uh, in this video, you're going to see uh, two of my trips to the drag strip. Uh, one of those trips, uh, there was actually a VW car show that I entered into, and there was also some VW bracket racing. I only made it two rounds in the uh, bracket racing because of uh, bad reaction times. Um, the weather was rapidly changing. It was really crazy. Um, you know, it, it actually was it was warm out or hot out. And then it started cooling off, and then maybe started getting a little warm, and then then rain started coming in, and it cooled off again, and so the DAs were like just all over the place, and so that's um, sort of mixed in there with the uh, um, what do I have? Uh, I only have two bracket races that I did. The first bracket race, the first round, um, the other car broke down, and uh, or he couldn't start it; his battery went dead or something. And so he was disqualified, and then on the second round, I went up against the guy who actually ended up winning um, the race, and winning the money, he won 500 bucks. Uh, but it turned out, I talked to other people, and he always wins, and this guy's really good, so. <laughs> but um, yeah, he had the awesome reaction time. Um, I had predicted my, uh, you know, my speed, you know, right down to the number, but it doesn't really matter it's who crosses the finish line first, who has the best reaction time. And um, I don't know, uh, again, I. I was screwing her off my reaction times a lot um, the whole time I've been out there the last two trips because I was actually trying to trip the Dynalicious software to take a recording and man I could never get that damn thing to trigger or I was sitting there having to go exit out of the app and come back into the app so that it would even allow me to go and try to re-trigger it and so basically it was really frustrating um, I don't have any Dynalicious runs to actually compare on the drag strip uh, but it also screwed up a lot of my reaction times because I was thinking about it or looking at it or trying to hit the damn button on the screen and it wasn't actually locking in. So anyways, that's pretty disappointing. So I need to get serious about my reaction times um, and I will do that. I will start um, jumping earlier. Um, I can do that very easily. It's just um, I've just been just letting go when the green light's there and obviously um, that's going to give me a bad reaction time. Uh, but uh, I have some video of uh, some older Volkswagen Beetles. Uh, there were some R32s and GTIs, Mark 6s, uh, that um, were at the car show. But unfortunately, I lost a lot of that video. That was a really crazy day, running back and forth. I was handing the camera off between different people. And, um, you know, because I had to be at the car show at certain times, and I had to, then I had to go uh, do tests and tune my car. Then I had to do my first passes to lock in my time. And so um, it was just really hectic, um, too many things going on that day. So we, we end up losing some video, but um, uh, hopefully you'll enjoy what video is there. Um, I know there's a, there was a car that came in there. I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, it said Chernobyl on the window. Um, you guys, when you check out the video, it's the Digi Camel uh, sports car. I, I don't know, it almost made me think it had like Porsche headlights, but is that a VW car show? So is it a VW? I don't know what the hell it is. So you guys take a look at it and let me know what you think it is. But so the first part of the video is going to be um, obviously my runs at the drag strip um, on two different days mixed up and then um, the two clips of the bracket racing and then, uh, then we'll go into um, car show and other cars racing and maybe some other car show stuff. So um, hopefully you won't be bored with the video, hopefully you enjoy it, and um, I'll get some more videos up here soon. I finally ordered the uh, APR intercooler, so that's on its way, so hopefully I can do that next weekend, and then maybe get some track time. My first thing that I'm sort of wanting to do really bad though, is to uh, get that intercooler on, and then drive down to uh, Firebird Raceway in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and see if I can get some better times down there. But um, you know, it's already heating up down there like crazy, so... I don't know, the DAs might still be pretty bad down there as well. Um, I've been recording, uh, I have all my, uh, you know, all my runs in a spreadsheet uh, with the DAs and uh, relative humidity and some other notes and things like that uh, with the modifications to the car they've made. And so I'm keeping track of all that and um, taking a look at that. And it's pretty much lining up, it's making sense. Um, looking at my data, um, it looks like to me that um, adding the 034 dog bone insert um, has probably, it's probably given me like another tenth maybe in the quarter mile, um, maybe up to two tenths 
Um, it just sort of depends, but, but the data sort of really looks like that. Now with um, the higher DAs that we're having up here right now, with a dog bone insert, I'm right down almost at my best times ever where we had really low DAs without the dog bone insert. So that's pretty cool. Um, but like I said, I need that intercooler and then uh, hopefully I can get a trip down to Phoenix here real soon and hopefully I can get some faster times on the car down there. So that's going to be exciting. So anyway, stay tuned for all that and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. On with uh, some aftermarket goodies on it. We'll see how the Volkswagen does against the Neon. Just in case you're wondering, not not your grandpa's Volkswagen Beetle. All-wheel drive, 300 horsepower. They'll run below 13 seconds right off the factory floor. And you can throw some aftermarket goodies. And even at a mile altitude, you can still get a lot of wells. And uh, be just as safe and as normal in traffic as you can imagine. So here we go. Well, the Neon has a whole first bottle of this. We'll have to stop here. We'll see how the power is setting. But that Volkswagen is not going to look back as he's looking about the back door.
Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Once I got to like... Plates? Yeah, the license plates? Well, they're all built. Yeah. At least the R's and all that are built in Germany. Most of the. But these are, these wheels are from Germany, he said. These are like super rare. There's the only wheels in Why the are the license plates still like this? Um, because they didn't want to change them over. I'm for a second ago. Alright, no, man. That's cool. Step over. That is cool, dude. Oh really? This car was two thousand dollars when it was new. Yeah. 
red one. Fifty. How do you get traction, man? All the weights on the tires. <laughs> That's true. I got this with Volkswagen, man. It's got a bigger engine in it. Man, it's getting packed in here. This is crazy. I cannot see uh, what these cars are running. sit there and burn out in it? Yeah. That yeah. <laughs> was clean, man. Oh, he knew. 
Look at that, he gets. Look at that. Do you hear that? Yeah, he does. some work done. Oh, no. Oh, he caught him up at the end. What? He misses gear. Are you kidding? Yeah, I got the 5 -0. Really? I don't know. What what it what is that car ran though? Charge 
So here we go, right? STI, you've got ton, tons of engine work. He runs pretty good. He hits high 11s, right? Uh oh. 
<laughs> the oh shit. I Is think it? that's a W32R. Might be. I don't have a tech card. <laughs> I think he's talking about me. done one pass. This is his first pass ever in this car. He just dynoed it today on the, the Blazer. The turbo 600 horsepower Chevy Blazer coming back to the line. He can pretty much let this Hyundai Genesis go out past the tower. All right, let's see if this Genesis has anything done. What do you think? Now, if he hits the gas hard here, that freaking Blazer should launch, man. But he was begging it before. All right, sun's going down. That means lights on the Supposedly a V6, and then obviously this 5.0 back here has got slicks on it and shit. Alright, what do we got here? Well, obviously the 5.0 is going to win, but I want to see how fast it runs. Oh shit, what are you doing? It's gonna run. Thirteen oh five. Seventeen. Hey guys, I think that's the Corvette that I ran against last last time I was out here. So what does he run? Thirteen five, thirteen six. Is that just a, like a legacy or something? I don't know my Subarus, guys.